guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a home fragrance video. This is going to be my what I am burning slash melting this week. Basically, it's just me talking about the wax style products, um, home fragrance products that I will be using for this week, self-explanatory, right? Um, this is a mix of both candle and wax melts. If you guys know me on a personal level, or if you've been here watching me for a while, you know that home fragrance is one of my passions, along with beauty, along with lifestyle. But home fragrance is something that I really, I really do love and enjoy. And my house always, always has some form of home fragrance going. So if you guys would like to see what my house has been smelling like and will be smelling like for the rest of the week, just keep on watching. You guys are gonna have to understand that um, there are going to be some products that you might not be able to get anymore. I'm, I'm not going to, you know, hinder my reviews because something is discontinued because they can always bring stuff back. And these companies that I'm gonna be talking about often do exactly that. So the first candle that I have been burning um, quite a bit actually is this one by Bath & Body Works and it is in the scent Red Velvet Cupcake. This one was a re-promote for Candle Day. They brought it back. Um, so like I said, this is why I don't like to, you know, retain all of my limited edition products or discontinued stuff because they do very often bring stuff back for candle day or for the semi-annual sale. This one, like I said, was brought back for candle day. Um, the notes on this are lush red velvet cake, cream cheese frosting, and sweet vanilla. It has that vanilla undertone that really comes through, but you can actually pick up the fact that this is a red velvet, not just a chocolate or not just a vanilla. Like it's, it is red velvet. I could tell it was red velvet the moment I, you know, lit it. I've been enjoying it. Would I repurchase it if it came back? On Honestly, probably not. It's just not a scent that I'm like crazy about. I actually picked this one up because Nick's favorite cake, whatever, is red velvet. So I thought he would like it. But um, yeah, I can't complain about it. It is a good candle. It's burning really, really flawlessly, you guys. I don't know what it is with Bath and Body Works, but there's some times that their candles are just absolutely horrible. Anyway, so this next candle that I've been burning, this is pretty commonly coming back every single Christmas from what I've seen. This particular packaging is from 20... 15, um, but the scent is the same. Anyway, it's the scent flannel. I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it again this year. So anyway, this one is the notes, Win crisp winter air, bergamot, heirloom mahogany, and soft musk. So basically to me, and this sounds so terrible, this scent, this smells like a mix of men's cologne and poop spray. What I'm saying is this smells like a, more of a luxurious, bathroom spray. It really does. It reminds me of some of the like old Glade sprays that they had. I like it, but I don't adore it. I will say the strength and throw on this is phenomenal. So I do approve definitely of the strength and throw. The burn on this is also very, very good. You can see that it is burning pretty flawlessly. It's been one of their best sellers for many, many years. So I mean, obviously people love it. I'm just not into this type of scent anymore. I used to be, but I'm not anymore. I am pulling out the Scentsy Silver Bells uh, Wax Melt. Now this one, I haven't burned or melted this particular package yet. I've melted bef them before in the past, but this is kind of the same situation as flannel where I'm just kind of over this scent per in particular, and I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it. This one is much different than flannel though. This is definitely not a bathroom spray cleaning product type scent, like a cashmere type scent with a vanilla undertone. It just really re reminds me of like winter air, or like when you have the windows open and you get that like really sweet snow kind of scent. That's what it reminds me of. Again, this is a really great performer, but I'm just not into this type of scent anymore. I'm, I'm kind of away from the cologne, the masculine, the sandalwood. It's just not my, not my jam anymore. I'm really into a lot of food scents now, which is so strange for me to say, because I've never been like that my whole life. And now I'm like, oh, bring me all the goodies. Bring me all the food. So yeah, this will be going in the warmers probably in the next couple days. And hopefully I'll be able to either finish off this bar completely or get a lot of it gone. And the only other scentsy, situation that I've been melting um, this week, and actually I've been melting it for a couple weeks in a row now. I really like this combination for my kitchen, um, and I am using this one right here. This is the uh, Christmas Cuddles wax melt, and this was the scent of the month. I believe it was December. I'm pretty sure it was December. I could be wrong. It was either November or December. Um, this one is very unique, and by itself, I actually don't like it. Like a spiced cake note, but take all the sweetness away. So it's a savory spiced cake note. It's very different. Literally, that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a spice cake without any vanilla, sweetness, none of it. It's just like straight 
cake with spices. It's so weird. I have actually been using it by mixing in a cube or whatever of the Scent Sugar Cookie, which is one of the like top Scentsy sellers. This is available all the time. This is just your basic run-of-the-mill vanilla scent. This smells like sugar cookie dough. This doesn't smell like a, you know, cooked, crispy, golden brown sugar cookie. This smells like the Pillsbury sugar cookie, either the squares or the, the tube that you cut up and put on the thing. That's what this smells like. It smells like raw sugar cookie dough and it smells amazing. This is a really good one to go to because it is such a neutral scent, but it's still very, very delicious. But by mixing these two together, you guys, oh, it's so good. It's not like a sickeningly sweet, cakey, bakery scent. It's actually a very nice combination where you get that slight spice. I don't want to say this is spicy. This isn't spicy. It's not red hot cinnamon spicy. It just has a hint of like a spiced cake. Um, but combining them, like I said, the this one really brings out the cake notes of the Christmas cuddles. And the, uh, the fact that this is more of like a savory cake scent um, really tones down the sweetness of this. They just meld really beautifully together. So these are what's going to be going into my kitchen for the next few days and I've been really enjoying it. This next candle is going to be like out of left field. Like why? Why would you have that in with all of these gourmand like bakery and cold weather outdoorsy style scents? I'll explain. <laughs> this next one here is by Homeworks, which you guys have heard me talk about a bunch. I adore Homeworks. I love Harry Slatkin. Um, they have reposted multiple photos that I have taken of my Homeworks candles on their Instagram. So it touches my heart a little bit that my Homeworks is, you know, they're watching me. This is Homeworks Farm Stand Nectarine. I don't know 100% for sure if Harry's bringing this back for spring. Um, I know that this was last year's spring collection, but I'm not 100% sure if this particular duo is still in stock. This one came with, oh God, what was it? I wanna say it was White Sangria. It came as a duo, two different candles, but this is the one that I took out. The reason why I have a bright, vibrant, fruity, summery, springy, peachy scent amongst all these other things is because South Dakota is the most bipolar area of the country. We had the polar freeze happen at the end of last week and it went down to like negative 30 with a negative 50 wind chill, just absolute insanity. And then literally within two days, we had a 65 degree day where I opened every window in my house and I was like, oh, spring come to me. And then the next day it was literally 10 degrees out and snowing. So welcome to South Dakota. So anyway, this is what I was burning that day that we had the uh, sneak peek of spring. So farm stand nectarine, the notes that Harry says are juicy nectarine, white peach, apricot, mango, and vanilla. Mm, it smells so good. Um, is it an authentic peach? Mm, not 100%. It's really, really difficult that I've noticed to get a true authentic peach scent where it smells like the actual fruit. Um, I will say that this is the most authentic peach that I've smelled in a while. This isn't like Georgia peach from Bath and Body Works or um, like peach Bellini from Bath and Body Works. It's not like that where it has that like super fake peach note or like the peach palette from Too Faced, if you know what I'm talking about. They all smell artificial to me. This one is more realistic, but what I'll say with the way that he has these um, different notes mingling together, I don't get the vanilla almost at all. If it's there, it's very, very subtle and it just adds kind of like a mellowness to it. This isn't overly tart. This smells like a mix of more of like that mango and white peach with a hint of those little, uh, what are they called? The peach O candies, you know what I'm talking about? So this is kind of like a, it is a perfect mix of being super authentic and then like candy mixed. It smells really, really good. This candle I purchased uh, in the beginning of November from a, like a, candle brand, a Instagram candle brand um, that I had seen on my Instagram, I had followed for a while. His scents sounded just divine. This is the first candle that I've tried from him. I've tried multiple of his waxes, but this was the first one I burned for candle wise. So this is by the brand Midnight Daydream Wax Company. It is cranberry cinnamon roll, which sounded amazing to me. Um, and the notes are cinnamon rolls covered in vanilla icing and cranberry chutney. I love his packaging, by the way. It's very like rustic looking and I love this. My house is very farmhouse themed out in the uh, main area. So I really love this, the simplicity of his packaging and the fact that they're in little mason jars is amazing. Um, so this one, this one's very unique. Now, am I, do I get cinnamon roll when I smell it right away off the bat? 
No, um, that's not saying that it doesn't smell good. This is very reminiscent to me of like Yankee Candles Cranberry Chutney with a little bit more of a tart um, note in there. I can definitely smell a bakery style, like some kind of pastry, but I'm not getting cinnamon roll. When this burns, I smell a really nice tart cranberry chutney, which I love. So, I mean, I'm not complaining whatsoever. Um, when I burned this, I burned this for probably a good three or four hours. And you can see I hadn't really burned down very much, which is fantastic for being a vendor wax. So I'm very impressed at the burn time that this candle is having so far. It was very, very nicely scented. Again, it's not going to punch you in the face when you walk in, but you definitely get it in the room that you're in. Um, I will link Harrison's uh, Instagram down below and his website is on his Instagram page so you guys can check out some of his other scents. Harrison does a bunch of other stuff like I said I will be doing a full review on his products um, that I've personally tried here in the next few weeks but for now um, I'm really enjoying this candle and I'm definitely interested in trying out more. And that is it you guys that is what I've been burning slash melting this week. Let me know down below what your favorite scents are for this time of year because I feel like I'm always in a rut between Christmas and spring because it's like what do you actually burn? Like, like what, what scent profile matches the bipolar weather that we're having outside? And I don't know, I just get into a weird rut. So let me know down below what you guys are burning and let me know what you think of any of these products if you have them as well. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.